Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're back mining on our Max. And last time a lot of people were miffed. They were saying you can't compare the OpenCL unoptimized miner against the i9 and the M1 because it's using OpenCL, you need to use metal. So we have officially right now the world's fastest miner on Mac. This is using Metal API and the great thing about it, this is the i9 5500M previously on Windows. What does that say? It says 10.6 using nice hash. We could get 10.6 mega hashes a second on this guy. However, by default in this application, you can see right here when I set it to the power mode to be high, the miner shoots up to almost 12 mega hashes a second. So we're gonna be doing the i9-5500M versus the M1 Max to find out who truly is the best miner around in the business. Is it gonna be the AMD graphics or is it gonna be the Apple and how much faster the Apple's M1 Max is gonna be compared to the AMD? Both using Metal's API, come on. So I'm gonna go into the source code actually, but I'm gonna get rid of all the artificial restrictions. Mac Miner, it has a maximum mining speed because I don't wanna be responsible for ruining your Max. I, I don't wanna have an extreme mode yet. So I always make it take breaths so you can always control your Mac even when it's mining. But I'm gonna be taking off the artificial limits. And to make this interesting, we're gonna be doing a live mining test, which means we're actually gonna be connecting to a proper mining pool, both in the same one, not a simulation. This is real mining results. Three, two, one, let's hit it. All right, so it's running side by side at the moment. The M1 Max is preparing the graph. It's launched the application a bit faster, so it's gonna go first, I believe. And the graph was prepared in 18 seconds. And on the i9, 16 seconds. So already faster on the i9 than the M1 Max. Surely the code can be doing with some optimizations maybe. I'll have to investigate that. But we are right here, we're mining away. We got 12.57 mega hashes a second on the i9-5500N. And on the M1 Max, we're getting 10.5, 10.31. Of course, one cool thing about this application is that you can set the power mode to very low on both as well. When it goes on very low, you can say goodbye to the fan noise and you can actually still use the computer very responsively. Look at that. So we're getting an extra 20% performance on the AMD graphics card that we do on M1 Max. That's interesting because you also have the Intel integrated GPU in there. So we can get another two mega hashes from there. So officially we could probably get 14 and a half mega hashes a second on the AMD Intel solution versus the M1 Max, which is 10.31. Of course, we've got Fan Noise City over here on the AMD and not much Fan Noise happening over here on the M1 Max. So all you people that said, no, no, you need to be using metal, open CLs too slow, all that kind of stuff. You got a point, but still metal versus metal using the most efficient mining code there is. This is two and a half mega hashes more than you would on Windows using nice, nice hash. Two and a half mega hashes more. It still isn't faster on the M1 Max. So if this sounds like fun to you, check out the app that I made, Mac Miner, Metal API, all that kind of stuff. World's fastest miner, all that kind of good stuff. Link in the description below. And of course, I will improve it. I need to get this M1 Max faster. There has to be a way to make it faster. I'm gonna investigate and find out for sure, but that's the state of play as it today. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Print me some money. Like you're 20 mega hashes between them. That's getting there, getting there. And so I made this little app at the moment. It's got kind of like a power mode level situation. So right now I've got OBS running on my computer. I've got Final Cut Pro running here. And in total, with my dual screen setup and all that kind of stuff, we're using four watts from the GPU. GPU can go up to around 12 watts, and this guy's only using four watts, and we're actually mining about 1.34 mega hashes a second. And so I've got this feature called power mode, and normally if I go to high power mode, you can see that Final Cut Pro is starting to become a chug city, and your computer becomes a bit you know, unusable. But when you start mining at lower power modes, obviously I'm doing a lot here, for example, I'm gonna to go to low. Computer becomes more responsive and you can play around a bit. It's still actually very smooth if you're doing OBS and all that stuff. 